all the residents showed up and said. Good evening. Good evening, Good evening sir. Evening. I'd like to call the regular meeting of the Board of Fire Commissioners uh, to Monday, April 8, 2024, to order. Uh, okay. Chaplain Chitwood. We'd like to have a, a moment of silence for the firefighters, three firefighters across the U.S. that uh, lost their lives this past month. Dear God, we give honor to those that have given their lives and sacrificed for others who desired to serve and help others. And those that have lost their lives, Lord, we give them honor and we just uh, pray that you'll be with their families, give them strength and comfort during this time. And Lord, we ask for protection over our firefighters here in Benita and the surrounding areas. You may always watch over them, protect them, care for them, be with them and their families. And thank you for this uh, new group that's here tonight. I pray that you'll bless them in the time that they serve in the years to come and watch over them. It's in Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Is there any public comment on agenda items this evening? Uh, seeing none, uh, I'd like to a motion to approve the uh, March 2024 meeting minutes. So moved. Second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I need a motion to approve the uh, March 2024 and current expenditures and ACH payments, the acknowledgement of financial report, the acknowledgement of wire transfers and transfers between accounts. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And then we've got a PO over 10,000 uh, that I need a motion for it to approve. I'll make that motion. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 <clears throat> okay. You're All right. right, Chief. Well, thank Welcome, you. everybody. It's nice to see you. Nice crowd. Thank you very much. Uh, tonight's a special occasion. Um, about a year ago, just over a year ago, we hired five new firefighters. We uh, changed things up a little bit. In the past, we, you know, we gave them all their stuff. We gave them their shield. We gave them their helmet shield. We gave them their badges, their nameplate. You know, so this year, this time, we tried to do a little bit different. You know, we wanted them to know that they are on probation, that it's a privilege to be a firefighter here at Benita Springs Fire Department. So what we've decided to do was, um, you know, now that they're off probation, they all got off probation March 20th. So at the next board meeting, we decided we're going to acknowledge these gentlemen that they have now made it and they can call themselves true Benita Springs firefighters. So uh, we think it's special. Obviously, I think it's pretty special. I've been here a little bit of time. So hopefully uh, they'll be here as long as I am or I was. So at this time, and I'm going to call them up one at a time and then a member of their family or someone special to them is going to pin them their badges. So first off, let's, I'm going to call up Tyler Bess. Tyler's going to be pinned by his fiance Sarah, and again, you know, Tyler we we stole from the city of Naples, and again, uh, you know, he's a local, he lives here in town, and he's special to us. Next one we have is Jacob Brooks, old enough to have a celebratory uh, adult beverage when he got hired. <laughs> so at least now he can say he's a firefighter and he can go out and buy us all a round of drinks. <laughs> Jenna, or, huh? 
Gina, I'm sorry. I can't read my own writing. His mother come up and pin him. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Next on our list is Cody Chastine. He'll be pinned by his fiance, Rachel. Uh, one of those things, like, we do get a chance to see our firefighters every once in a while. And Cody, we, do, we used to work for Lake, Lee County EMS. And, you know, we got to see what kind of person he was before we even hired him. So he's a great addition to the Benita Springs Fire Department. Next one we have, I'll wait for Cody. Next one we have is Frank Duarte. You know, Frank's from the other coast and you know, he had to make that drive over and I interviewed him a couple times. The first time I interviewed him, it was great. Second time we made the decision to hire him and I'm like, all right, let's get him in here again one more time. And I asked Jenny to uh, set it up, you know, for a day or two later, because we knew he, was over on the other coast, which he has going to relocate over to here. But so he's like, no, no, I'll be over there in an hour. I'll be over in two hours. So no, <laughs> we took a chance on Frank and it's worked out great. So again, congratulations, Frank. <laughs> and his brother Daniel will be pinning him. And last but not least, Jonathan Rouse. You know, Jonathan, you know, he's a friend of a friend and another local Venetian that we like to hire. And he's doing a great job. And his brother, Jeff, is going to come up and pin him.
We also have goodie bags with your shirts and everything. Congratulations. You guys want to, when it's all done, slide around this way. Yeah, let's have the whole class come up. Hold on, John. Well, from one year to now we have a five-year pin for, um, for Caleb Sparks. You know, Caleb's one of those guys that when we hired him five years ago, he hit the ground running. You know, Caleb's now part of USAR, part of our extrication team. He took the uh, acting lieutenant test and passed it, so he's now training to be an acting lieutenant. So Caleb Sparks is what these guys should be looking up to, to what to do in your first five years. Congratulations, Caleb. So next on our list, this, is, this one's going to be, uh, you know, a little tough. Uh, this is for Battalion Chief Wink Telford. You know, Wink started here 25 years ago. You know, my whole career and his whole career, we've known each other. You know, Wink and I never really spent a lot of time on shift, but we were both union officers for the longest time. And Wink's been that solid go-to guy, the voice of reason, you know. And, and the reason why it's going to be hard, because this is his last one. He's, gonna, he's set to retire here in the next year, December, I believe. And uh, so, you know, it's gonna be hard to see him go. Uh, you know, he's, he's lived, he's done a whole career here and he's made a difference. And, you know, Wink's one of those guys that when, when we say it's better, it's a better place when he leaves it, he has made this a better place, you know, through his wisdom, through his uh, leadership of battalion chief, lieutenant, and as the union vice president. So Wink, congratulations to 25 years. You deserve it. That's it, sir. Okay. For, gonna, for, for presentations for now. We are going to take a couple of minute break. If anybody would like to exit the building, uh, you're welcome to stay. But like I always say, you know, if you'd like to leave, now be the time. Okay. We'll call the meeting back to order. Commissioner's business. Anybody have anything that they would like to? I would like to add that I um, brought a group of people here, about 20, to uh, get a little tour of the firehouse, little kids from four years old on up to about 12. And once again, uh, Nicole did a fantastic job with them. Nice. Anybody? I would like to recognize City Councilwoman Jamie Bogas. Thank you very much for coming to our meeting. <laughs> it's always nice to see you. Any old business? 
Well, under new business, we need a explain this Gatsby 96 policy. It's, I know I know what it is, but it's been enforced. And what we, I couldn't find the change when I read it. No. Over. So what it is is uh, this is a new policy. Uh, two years ago, they warned us that this was going to come. So any of our internet internet subscriptions has to be tracked now through the Gatsby through the government accounting and bulletin. So this is this is their new policy. In order to meet compliance, we had to create a policy, and so we created this policy and put some stipulations on it that if it's no more than 2,500, if the right. if the poli if the uh, the internet subscription is more than 2,500 dollars, then we have to track it. If it's less than 25, we're going to review it every year to see if it's still what we want. But so this is in addition to the other. Gatsby yes, policy. Gatsby has 96, 95 yeah, other no, policies. No, I understand that. That's <laughs> but that, yeah, that, that, that was the only. Yeah. That was the only great. This area is a brand new policy for us. Need a motion to approve, and that? it will show up in the audit from this. I'll point make that motion forward. to approve. I'll second it. All in favor? All right. Aye. 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 <clears throat> we need a motion to approve the. Uh, purchase agreement for the sale of our property at station 20 if I, if I may yes of course you may so what I, what I'd like to do I'd like to get a motion to get it to approve it pending the uh, the realtor and the lawyers looking at it we've still got a couple and authorizing of, me to sign the purchase we still agreement. got a couple eyes and the dot and T's to cross but it, that way he has the authority to do that without bringing a wait in another month I'll make the motion that we give the chief authority I'll second that all in favor? Uh, All right. Okay. Do we, do we know what the what is the offer? What so the the offer is uh, five point five million. They have a due diligence uh, time frame in there of roughly two hundred and fifteen days. Uh, they have some other stipulations that they have to abide by. You know, upon signing this, they have to give us. I think it's within sixty or ninety days. They have to show us financing because again, the through the purchase agreement is not contingent on financing. So. Okay. There are some some hoops they have to jump through to do things. Show me the so, money, right? Yeah. And that's approximately 215 days that our property is going to be off the market. Then. Correct. And that started already? It or? has not started yet. We haven't we have not signed the agreement. Uh, I would again. say probably in the next week it'll start, right? Yeah, I would say. But uh, but yeah, so we just, I just want to make sure that the lawyers are doing their due diligence, and I've been in contact with the realtor a few times. The next item is um, is a letter in everybody's pack about um, a request for us to donate our old Engine 28 to Ider Baker High School, and I think I'm going to let Greg explain um, what they do. I know so there are a couple of schools w within Lee County that do the firefighter program. So South Fort Myers does it, and so does uh, Ida Baker. So what they've done, what they need is they need a fire truck to, to actually do the training on it. They go through the schools, and they go through the... Uh, Go through the book and do it, but they don't really have any type of equipment to have the fire, have the, the high school kids do this. So they've uh, they heard it, ours was available. Uh, so we're, I think it's a good thing. Two years ago, three years ago, we donated two trucks to the Panhandle. Uh, I think it's worthwhile to keep it here. Again, it's going to grow our own firefighters here in town. You know, they're going to Ida Baker High School, and when they walk out of Ida Baker High School, they'll be firefighter one. They'll be halfway through. They'll be halfway through getting their firefighter certificate. So that way, A, it's going to save them money in the long run. Whenever they go and enroll in the, either the academy or out here at ours, they uh, only have to do the one half of it because the rest of it they're getting in school itself. Mr. Chairman, I'll make the motion that we donate it to Ida Baker. Mr. Chairman, may I ask a question? Second the motion, and then I'm we sorry. can discuss it. I'll, I'll second it. Okay. What is the value of that truck that we're donating? Ten, uh, we've looked on either GovX and some and some different websites. You know, for a 2000 to 2009, they're anywhere from five to ten thousand dollars. That's it. That's yeah. it. Okay. And this is a fully operational. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we've had our mechanic go through it. The only, I'll say, the only I think deficiency is the air compressor that holds the stairs up. But they once they go up, they stay up. And again, that's something that, that uh, the school can take on if they want. They can probably even go to Votech and have Votech work on it. Yeah. So keep... we've had a motion and a second. Yeah. Yes, sir. Are we good? Yes, sir. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Thank you. <clears throat> I need a motion for an interlocal registration and agreement for Florida Class. It's just one of our finance, our investment, um, investment companies. 
We just need a motion to approve them. I will make the motion to approve them. Need a second? Somebody? I'll second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Everybody say aye. Yeah. Aye. 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 Okay. aye. Aye. Sir. Okay. Okay, Chief, you're up again. So I have a few things on my list uh, just to make you aware of. Uh, business after hours this, uh, this month is April 25th, and it is at the Alliance for the Arts in Fort Myers. Uh, a majority of us will be out of town at the FASD event, and that's in, uh, you know, that's the 24th and 25th, or 25th, 26th is that date. So, you know, we'll be out of town, but if anybody else would like to go to it, just let Anna Marie know. Uh, in the next coming months, we've been getting ready for it. Uh, end of May, we're getting our ISO inspection. Again, it's that time of year, so every five years, so we're, we're uh, getting, that, getting everything together. Uh, Chief Broad and Chief Schmidt have been working hard on getting all the pre-questionnaires and pulling all the stats on it. Uh, as I said, FASD is, is in Sarasota, the 25th and 26th. And Celebrate Bonita is April 27th. It is uh, obviously downtown, 25th anniversary of the city of Bonita Springs. They would like to know if any of us would like to go on stage and be introduced. If so, to be there at 7.50 p.m. Uh, Tyler, Tyler Farr and Low Cash are the two, two bands, uh, country, country uh, lineup. And uh, I think Chief Schmidt has something he would like to talk about real quick. If you indulge him, please. So just about two weeks ago, we got noticed that we have been approved for a grant from Firehouse Subs. Uh, we've been putting into that or for that grant for a little over a year now. They usually say third time's a charm. Well, for us, it was fourth try was the charm. Um, so we will be approved. We're going to get cutters, hydraulic, battery-powered cutters, spreaders, and rams uh, to the tune of about 41000 um, So the paperwork's coming in. Uh, hopefully in the next three months, I think we'll receive them. And they'll be going on our <coughs> squad, and they'll replace the old hydraulic hosed spreaders, uh, some from 1989. Nice. So uh, we'll do upgrade. So thank you to Firehouse Subs and uh, donating this to us. It, is that grant going to cover the whole 41k? It does. This is the whole thing. Fantastic. Yep. Yeah. That's yep. Nice. It's a great program. They they do. Make sure you buy a lot of lunches from <laughs> right. Firehouse Subs. Right. We'll be I'm doing sure a press gonna release. Some, there's going to be some PR and and stuff like that. They do this, so quarterly is when they take applications. They only take 600 applicants per quarter, and they whittle that down to, depending on how much money they have. Uh, and once they run out of money, then they stop giving the grants out for that quarter. That's so. a significant grant. That's really nice. nice. It's a great one. Mm -hmm. Yep, they do, they do a good job. So, <clears throat> and Like I said, we'll be doing a PR, and it's actually those, all the equipment has their sticker on it also. Nice. So it's very nice. That's why we're going to put it on the squad, because as we know, we do the squad Saturday, so we go around to all the other fire departments. This this month, it's in Iona McGregor, so they'll be able to see it also and see, hey, where'd you get that? And it's coming from Firehouse Subs. Uh, the last thing, and I sent you all a text about it, but please keep um, Senator, Madam President, Kathleen Pasadomo's family in your prayers. Her uh, husband was tragically killed over the last week, fell off the side of a mountain. So, uh, so please keep it in there. Uh, their funeral... Funeral arrangements are being made now. Uh, we're hearing it's going to be the 26th and 27th down in Naples. But as soon as I get times and actual places, I'll send that out to you guys. Heartfelt condolences to her. It's, she had a tough legislative session and took a vacation and after the session and lost her husband of just about 40 years. So, yeah. so. condolences to her for sure. Chairman, may I ask the chief something? Hmm? May I ask the chief something, please? Absolutely. If you're done. Yes, I'm done. Uh, it's a question about the Florida Cooperative Liquid Assets uh, Security System. Do we have an account set up? Or we're, we currently? We're currently going to set it up. Okay, and are we planning on transferring funds that we currently have in, yes. in our investment accounts to yep. that? Yep. Okay. Thank yep. you. Are you that's, you're all set? Yep, I'm all Thank done. Thank you, sir. Okay, you have the rest of the reports in your packet. Is there any public comment? Alex, you're up. No, Alex isn't here. <laughs> Motion to adjourn. So, 
Um, what? No, he's, sir. He's actually, uh, Commissioner Slechta has something he would like to say this yeah, evening. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman and fellow uh, commissioners. <clears throat> this is going to be difficult for me to say, but uh, uh, Chief, Deputy Chiefs, uh, Chaplain, and the Benita staff, um, I have to resign, and it's not because I want to. It's because my family is medically uh, handicapped and they need me. Uh, so in the few months I have left in my term, I would like to recommend Stephanie Kissinger, who I've known for 20 years, and <clears throat> to fill my spot. I did not know she was interested until we talked. Um, I've known her for 20 years. She has excellent leadership skills. She was the executive uh, vice uh, president of the Benita Chamber of Commerce, <clears throat> and she spent 12 years at Waste Management as the Government Affairs Manager. She lived in South Florida for 28 years, and uh, 17 right here in Benita. She has a bachelor's degree and served as president of our Rotary, Benita Rotary. Uh, Mr. Chairman and fellow commissioners, <coughs> I hope you will consider my recommendation um, to fill her, my rest of my term, and uh, which has only got a few months left, and uh, you will not be disappointed. I love you all very much, <clears throat> and I will miss you all. God bless you all, so that he will keep you safe and well. Thank you for your service. Sir. Thank you, Steve. <clears throat> I have known Commissioner Slackta for many years, and we've become very close and very good friends over the years. And this city is damn lucky that they've had you for all of the things you've done for this city, between city council and the veterans and here at the fire department. And we're going to sorely miss you, but I know that everybody here will agree with me. You're welcome back anytime, because we Thank love you. you. Thank you. <coughs> Motion to adjourn. Now. Motion to adjourn. Okay. And on that note, we adjourn.